coming to you live represents Wolf of Life. Today we're going to show you how to make sushi rice. So just I'm going to make two cups. In Japanese cooking is pretty simple. It's usually one by one by one, one part to one part to one part. So it's two parts cups of rice, it's two parts water, two cups. Okay. So let's get two cups. First step, wash your rice. Got my handy dandy back up. Typically, for sushi, you want a short grain, medium grain rice. And cups the first rinse should be cloudy and you want to kind of extract that right away You want to do at least three rinse, but until the water gets clear is ideal. So three four rinses. Not perfect, but it's clear enough. You hear me? Tongan water in Japanese. Two cups of that. not that difficult is seasoning the rice and how that seasoning process is done every step is vital washing the rice measuring the rice the amount of water it's all essential to that product so uh, I'll show you Here's the uh, rice vinegar, right? And we use uh, a monk sugar, monk sweetener. 
and OJ Kombu. You're gonna marinate it for a long time. But uh, that's how we do it out here. And inside, I, I'm not gonna make my own fresh shrimp tempura. But I did buy pre-made one that I could just heat up. And we do have avocado. And then just a shrimp avocado roll. Spicy shrimp avocado roll. We'll see. Alright, so once you got it rinsed, put the rice into the rice cooker. Make it even. Close it up. That's it. So once the rice finished cooking, we will uh, season it. Essentially, you want to use one of these and cut the rice so every grain gets the seasoning and you don't smash the grains. You don't have to get all technical, but that's how we do it in Japan, so stick around, we'll uh we'll be back once the rice is cooked. Alright. I I decided while the rice cooks we should make some uh, spicy mayo and it's done with QP making Japanese food out here you hear me so use Japanese mayo anyway um, you could thin it with sake I don't have sake and uh, you could spice it with Korean kochijang or Korean kimchi spice or sriracha, but I do the traditional Japanese way and I'm out of togarashi shime. So I might have to use sriracha or Chinese on them hose. But this is a uh, togarashi or seven spices shime, assorted peppers. Japanese with the Japanese chili oil, Rayu, product of Japan, and that's all I usually make my spicy mayo. Right there, those three. But uh. I don't see any shichimen left, so we're gonna have to go with. I do have Thai chili and uh, chili oil, fish oil, jalapenos. We're gonna go. So you could you could use kochujang. It's a little sweeter paste, bean paste, like a miso but spicy miso and we got classic sriracha which is pretty typical so today we're gonna have to adapt or compromise use uh, sriracha kewpie and whatever is left of the shichima and the rayu okay portion really is personal preference how spicy you like it how much of it you want so that varies 
from restaurant to restaurant, chef to chef. But I like it spicy. And I like it. You know what I mean? In America, sauce is the boss. In Japan, you value the uh, freshness of the fish. But either way, all tastes good. Alright. So we could always add, but you can't subtract when it comes to sauce. So keep that in mind. This. That's what it's looking like so far. And mix it up. Test. Oh, that's a hit. Yo, yo. Make sure it's QP. I guess uh, the rice is still cooking. I could preheat the squirms. My handy dandy Philip Electric Infrared Grill. Don't look at the light. Apparently it damages your eyes. But it goes up to 400 some degrees. Check on the rice. We got six minutes left. So let the grill preheat. Then we'll uh, these shrimps this is just a cheap wasabi knife on Amazon my work knives or my work bag right here this is this this is the type of spoon you would use you know for you could uh we need to be cool. So we only have, I moved to a small town and there's only one sushi restaurant. They're not hiring at the moment, but I used to work at a GSR. Due to the pandemic, they did not survive. They are the rim Asian fusion. It's Pacific Rim. It's like a sushi, all you can eat sushi joint. And they serve hot food, Chinese. Vietnamese, eight Pacific stuff. So, uh, yeah. So here we are. Shrimp on deck. Got this at the uh, grocery outlet here locally. I don't know if y'all got that out where you all at, but sure. I haven't seen it at Walmart, but I don't know. You know, they stock everything. Napoli. All right. Peace. 
All right, we're back. The rice has been cooked. Bam. Okay. The spicy mayo has been whipped. The avocado is ready. The shrimps. I'm warming up. Now it's time to season the rice. We're going to use rice vinegar. to it. Okay. I don't know if I could do it one hand. I gotta put you guys in. and put it into a wooden bowl. I'm going to do it directly into this container. Less dishes. Okay. And like I said, scoop, cut, 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 scoop. Cut, 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 scoop, cut, 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 scoop, cut, 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 cut. It's very tedious. It's for the best result. the integrity of the rice and that every rice gets that lovely seasoning taste it I think it needs more sugar well so we're just gonna add Sugar booger. That young monk sugar booger. Good. Tastes good. Come. Let me flip these bad boys. They're already cooked. Get them crispy. So.
So now it's time to assemble. Best place so you guys can see. Maybe right there. We got the rice assist. Put that there. We got the makisu. Typically use you wet your hand and it's a mixture of rice wine rice vinegar and water and apply it but for the sake of the video we're just gonna go and for the sake of convenience we're gonna just use this I don't know if you guys can see That's good. There we go. Okay. So typically, you start from your left top corner, apply one, two, one, two, one, two, fixing the corners. But we're at home, we're making sushi at home. We're not trying to be all professional. We're just going to. Apply it with the spatula or this rice. Utensil. Okay. Now that the rice is applied, sprinkle some of this. Goma. Black sesame. And then flip it. Apply some spicy mayo. You don't want to go to the edge because it will be pushed out. And you get two shrimps. I love the tail, so I put the tail in. First step is just to get the uh, roll going. A bit messy, but it's closed. Um, let me show you guys one more. Okay. 
seaweed. Smoke on the ocean. Call it seaweed. Okay. Apply the rice. Apply the goma. Spicy mayo. And this time it is too long, so we're going to adjust it. even consistency so like just like that it's perfect that's why the other one didn't do its magic one two Spicy mayo. Oh man. Super good. Not the sharpest knife, but it's fine. There we are. Dip it into some wasabi shoyu. Try to show you. Oh, if you love sushi, hit the thumbs up video button, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Friday. It's every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Make some sushi with me. Take care. God bless.